Testing. Testing. One, two. Okay, well, we'll see how it goes. Good. Okay. in the world, on the earth, you know, uh, we need to be positioned and engaged in that battle. Because that is the battle that's happening. But it's not the battle that we should have our attention on. Because how we position ourselves in the physical it depends on how we position ourselves in here. Because although the victory's been won in the big picture, it hasn't been won for each of us. We have to be victorious. So the question then becomes, how does it happen that we position ourselves in such a way that we're victorious? we are not in any way, shape, or form influenced or moved by evil, transformed, deceived, led astray. So we keep doing what's good and true every day in the moment and uh, participate with others in prayer and action toward the reestablishment of democracy and freedom in our country. My concern is that we lose a sense of position in the battle when good things happen, when we get some gain. Uh, what we need to do there is give praise and glory and thanks to God, but also recognize that uh, we still don't know what's going to happen in society. That's in God's hands. And we shouldn't start speculating and planning and getting ourselves too involved with that because uh, that can be a great deception. You start transferring your trust and your hope in Jesus, which is spiritual, into the political, physical, material, earthly realm. So you start hoping more and more to establish a kingdom here that Jesus said is, is, is not his because his is not of this world. So that's the big message I have, and uh, that's part one. Part two is, where do we get our guidance? And actually, this song, Carry On, I wrote many years ago, and I was too shy with my faith to be explicit in a lot of my songs, so I tried to be poetically smart and kind of hide it. So I'm going to say uh, something about Mary. You know, Mary is known in the church uh, as uh, Stella Maris. We have in Rustico, Stella Maris High School. I remember playing basketball in high school. Um, so, um, Star of the Sea, Stella Maris, 
Uh, and that's really insightful because Mary provides guidance and she provides guidance to safe harbor. So, refuge. She is the one that takes us to refuge in the middle of the storm. And that's what we're in right now. Uh, but what's really interesting is, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, St. Jerome, uh, he was a hermit, and he, tra he translated both the Hebrew and the uh, Greek uh, scriptures into Latin. And that was the Latin Vulgate. It was the main scripture for the Roman Catholic Church for centuries. Uh, you know, he wasn't perfect, and he made a mistake in translating the word Mary uh, from um, the Old Testament. Because the word Mary isn't the uh, star of the sea. That's not the etymology. Uh, it is a drop of the sea. Mary in. It's a composite of two Hebrew words. <laughs> Which is amazing because it's so insightful to think Mary, full of grace, her mother, drop of the sea. So, you know, the divine mercy that God is giving us becomes as our salvation, which is the blood, but also our life, which is the water. So if you remember, Jesus said to the woman at the well, uh, you know, if you knew who I was, he'd be asking me for him because he'd never be thirsty again. So Jesus is the water bearer of life. Uh, and Mary is a drop. She is full of grace, which is the life of her son. So in that sense, uh, she, she guides us. Uh, you know what's really interesting too is uh, during the medieval times, the Catholic Church looked to Mary for guidance. So the mariners on the sea uh, who used the North Star as the guiding star, uh, they actually referred to the North Star as uh, Stella Maris. So anyhow, enough of that. Um, this song, Carry On, is, uh, you know, about so you'll hear two lines, one, you know, messages that have never gotten out to you because my technology is a little stupid when it comes to getting things working properly. Anyhow, uh, this song, you know, is two, two lines. One, um, you know, look to the stars. And I, what I had in mind when I wrote it was Mary as yes, the star of the sea. And then I later learned that, you know, really Mary is the rock, full, completely immersed in uh, life in Jesus. So um, the other one is uh, you can turn to the darkness or you can run to the sun. And I put S E when, but uh, I was thinking S O N. So there you have it. <clears throat> You know, that's our battleground, is always in the heart. No matter what else happens out there, uh, be careful, because if you start getting too hopeful, you, you know, you may uh, stop realizing where our life is coming from, and that means that we need to be praying all the time, you know. And when we do that, you know, I have no anxiety, I have no fear at all, because I fully trust in God, and He's given, poured that grace into me. So, you know, it's quite amazing. Um, so carry on, and uh, have a great day.